Hi there folks and welcome back to the final episode of the first season and uh, what a season it has been. We've had lots of goals flying left, right and centre. We came close against Liverpool twice, losing it in the last couple of minutes in both games actually I think it was and um, we find ourselves in third position in the Premiership. There's a couple of games already been played. Man City have uh, not had the chance to go above us. They drew 0-0 with Arsenal just a few hours ago. Uh, Tottenham win 1 0 against the Villa. Chelsea win 3 0. So Chelsea are still fighting for that Champions League football. Uh, they are now three points behind us a win here or even a point, and uh, we will have Champions League football. And you know what? We could possibly still get a second spot. It's still all to play for. We have got, uh, like I say, West Ham and we've got Aston Villa who are lying second from bottom. Liverpool have managed to get to 101 points with two games remaining, which is a uh, meh. We don't really want to see that, do we, at all, no matter what team you are. So let's get into the matters. Let's have a look at the team that's going to face off against uh, West Ham away from home. Uh, Darlow's in goal. We're going to have uh, Manquillo back at right back. Uh, Lejeune regarding Williams at the back. We've got Neves, Shelby, Maximum, Sancho, Armada and uh, Martinez up front. We can't change that front four. We just can't. And neither, Well, to be perfectly honest, we can't change Shelby or Neves unless, unless we change Shelby. But apart from that, I don't think we need to change anything there. But we do need someone to play alongside Rigani, I feel. And then possibly some of that right and left back, and definitely a goalkeeper. They're, they're the change. The changes are going to happen down here, I think. Uh, that's where we need to make the changes. Right. Okay. West Ham playing same sort of formation. In fact, it's virtually exactly the same. Maybe. Maybe the striker not being so far forward as Martinez. Right. Let's uh, get into the matters straight into the tunnel, and uh, let's see if we can. Uh, well, let's. For the first time of asking in the last two games, let's get the point that we need to guarantee ourselves uh, Champions League football. And uh, in fact, you know what, if we get to Champions League football, I think it's been a season, a relatively successful season, to be honest. As a uh, Maximin, I can't quite see that it's a very dark, I mean, they literally nearly ran that out, but Maximin's running the full length. I feel like he should have pulled it back, maybe instead of going for goal. West Ham with a uh, throw in Fredericks. Cross comes in. That's a good double save. And I think Lejeune got a foot in there as well for the, for the second block. And that's gone over. West Ham giving it their all as well. I'm not sure whereabouts in the table they are. Manquilla with a long throw. Again, against the post. We're not doing well here, are we? Penalty ref. Nothing doing. That's a poor cross. I'm disappointed, assertively say. I'm not happy with the performance out there. Get your fingers out. Come on, pass the ball to Martinez. That's what we want. Five minutes gone. Fabianski with the goal kick. West Ham. Oh, we do nick it back through Williams. Sancho now on the ball. He's running inside. Gone, son. We got. Go for goal. Go for goal. Oh, he's done it, Sancho. Solo run. Come on. Williams with the win. Uh, nicked the ball and uh, passed it to Sancho. Who just went on it. That's what we brought Sancho in to do. These are the Sancho type things we want him to do. And he's only just gone and done what we want him to do. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. That's well played. That's his 15th goal of the season. We're 1 0 up. We are literally bearing down Arsenal. And uh, we're literally right behind them now. We're two points behind, three points ahead of Man City as well. And this will secure Champions League form. I mean, what a season this is turning out to be. I'm not going to lie. This is uh, just goes to show you what money can do. And wow, Hull has just uh, run off in front. Uh, did I just see that? Did I just see what happened there? Rugani just, wow. Offside, surely. Not even offside. The goalkeeper. I hate to think that went through his legs. I really do. Let's demand some more off the lads. Almiron on for Sancho then. Yes, he scored his goal, but he hasn't really done an awful lot af from that though. And to be honest, neither of the rest of the lads either. Lejeune. You could say that he was at fault for sitting there. Maximin, come on. Both our wingers have now scored. Maybe I shouldn't have uh, took Sancho off. Maybe I shouldn't have done, but everybody was all looking at Sancho, taking off, then they thought, oh, you know what, they've got nothing else. And uh, Manquillo comes up with a pass to Maximin. Wow. Manquillo setting uh, everything to right from that mistake against Liverpool. And he goes and comes up with the uh, assist for Maximin. Right. Do we go, I think we'll go a little bit more balanced now. Bring in Hayden as well. Uh, we just, oh, we can do a box to box with it, actually, Hayden. We'll do that then. See what, are we, um, 
performs in that position but at the moment we're 2-1 just pass it to our lads you, you're looking for a dark top that you can hardly see on the screen what a play and what a save by Dollar. at least he kept an eye on it our players were all over the place there cross comes in and it's volleyed or blocked for a corner West End piling the pressure. We get that away through Lejeune. He just gets a foot in. Darlow with a goal kick. I'm not sure where he was doing that. He's going to attempt to go wide again. Almiron gets a headers onto Armada who doesn't find his man. They're piling forward. And it's 2-2. It's 2-2. Holler's done it again. What are you, you doing, Newcastle boys? What are you doing? You could literally throw second spot away. Literally throw it away. And... Uh, Again, who's that? Don't tell me that's Lejeune. It is. It's Lejeune. He's gone. He's out of this window. That's two errors he's made. Think that uh, we've got to go all out. Attacking now. Let's go, boys. Let's go. A couple of minutes left. We can do this. A chance. A chance. It's a free kick. Neves. You can put that in the back of the... <gasps> yes! Come on, boys! Yes! He's literally just bailed us out with his 14th goal of the season. What a free kick! Oh, I tell you what, the goalkeeper's nowhere near there. That is a perfect free kick. Oh, away from home, uh, it's still alive. Second spot is still alive. Despite Haller's efforts to get uh, West Ham into the game. Wow, that is um, that is close, boys. That is very, very close. Right, let's uh, straight into this, see what the results are coming in at now. Newcastle were fortunate. Well, we were lucky. But uh, I think we make our own look. Thank you very much. Right, Leicester, Bournemouth, and then we'll see the table as it lies at the minute. Right, okay, Man City have got a game in hand, but they are three points behind. We are two points behind Arsenal. Do we get confirmation we're in the Champions League? Arsenal bought Euro ticket as well. Well, we're all in Euro, but isn't that not Champions League? Have we not got that? We, sh we must have that, surely. Where's confirmation? Do we not get confirmation? No confirmation. Okay. We, we must get Champions League football through that. Uh, there's another couple of... I mean, I'm assuming it's because of these games that they've all got uh, games in hand, maybe. Everton win their 4-1. Uh, let's have a quick look at the next one. Uh, Liverpool smash uh, Man United 4-1. Right, OK, there's only Man City, though. I mean, does that secure... Sancho gets a goal bonus. There's no confirmation. Right, we might get the confirmation in the next game. Right, Villa at home. Let's finish this season off in style. Right then, here we go then, boys. We're just going to make a couple of changes. Well, probably one change, really. Uh, Lejeune is out. Shah is back in. And that is basically it. There's no other change. Darlo, Maquillo, uh, Shah, Regani, Williams, Neves, Shelby, Maximum, Almada, Sancho and Martinez. That is our first 11. Rather, right, Aston Villa, on the other hand, oh, they're coming quite attacking as well. This is the final game of the season then, boys. If we win this, we stand a very, very good chance of getting that second spot. We've, uh, I think we've guaranteed ourselves uh, Champions League football. It's not been confirmed yet, but we'll have a look afterwards. We'll have a quick review of the uh, of the squad straight afterwards as well. We'll do it all in one episode as uh, Maximin goes and puts the ball in from uh, Williams's cross. We're one nil up, seven minutes in, and it looks like it could be another goal fest. What a corner! What. Well, what movement from Maximin? He comes in from an off... Was he offside? Well, he headed it backwards anyway. So we're into second spot, though. Arsenal at home to Sheffield United, who are relegated. So you would expect them to win anyway, especially being at home. And uh, Maximin, again, with another chance. Armada, I think he could have had the opportunity himself to score or have a shot. But he was ungreedy and passed it to Maximin, who uh, was greedy and hit the post. Liverpool on 107 points already. Arsenal still 0-0. Amada back post. Nobody. I think about Shelby. Arsenal are now winning. So uh, second spot is uh, we need a miracle from Sheffield United. But I don't think that's going to happen. Williams plays it out wide to Manquillo. Manquillo we're playing him because he has quite a few assists. So if you can. I mean he almost had another one there. Maximum runs it. Why are you running it out? Why are you not crossing it? That's what I don't understand. But we could nick third spot though. Oh, we've got another goal. Shelby this time with his third goal. Shelby's played quite well. We're looking to replace him, though. We'll probably have him as a backup. But we are looking to uh, 
replace him with somebody else i'm not sure who we're looking at but our scouts are out there looking at this very moment coming up to half time we get the long throw into martinez does have it then he passes it back to manquillo uh, target is injured he's off the field so aston villa are down to 10 men currently manquillo cross comes in back post sancho come on three nil up three nil what's the problem we don't have a problem it's um it's more stable at the back half time we haven't conceded a goal so we're doing really well if we could just um just bring a couple more players like i say like a goalkeeper another center back just to strengthen then or even a possibly a right back at the moment we are literally um destroying aston villa which is um oh no i don't want to say disappointed <laughs> oh no it's a lot more to come from me that's what i want to say oh I've literally, uh, what have I done? Arsenal are 1-0 up still. Man City, uh, they they must be drawing. Who are they? Chelsea are winning 2-1. Uh, Man City are 0-0 and they've missed a penalty as well. I'm not sure what sort of impact that will have if they win anyway. Uh, they've got to score three goals to win or we, unless we end up conceding as we are going to make a couple of changes. Shelby can come off. He's played well. I might bring Sean uh, Longstaff in. That's a box to box. We'll do that. We'll play it. Sure, not long staff. Bentelab, possibly. Nevers, we'll give Nevers a rest. He's playing out of seven at the moment. Uh, Armada's not playing very well, and neither is Armada. You know what? Let's bring Linton in. Let's bring Linton in just for the final 20 minutes of the season. We might sell him in the summer. We don't know. Or we just keep him as backup still. Young's with a cross. Let's get it away. We hoof it away. Uh, Joe Linton's on it, though. It could have been Martinez. Maybe we might have scored if it was Martinez. As Aston Villa play it from the back, they're coming forward. They're having much more of the uh, possession now. We don't want to concede any goals. He says, as Drinkwater just plants one in from distance, they're back in with a shout. Hopefully not too much of a shout. Uh, let's go a bit more balanced now. Because we just want to see this game out. I'm not sure where we are in the table. Hopefully uh, Sheffield United have come back and equalised. Because Linton has got his fifth goal of the season. He doesn't disappoint when he comes on. He's got himself a goal. It suggests that we might keep him as backup, possibly. But if anything happens to uh, Martinez, we could be in serious trouble. Because uh, Linton's nowhere near the prowess of uh, Martinez, unfortunately. 4-1. As uh, Villa just nicked that ball. It's on... Go I mean, that is poor, poor defending. This left-hand side is getting battered quite a bit. And I think it's... I mean, who was that, really? That was Williams. He dived in. Centre-backs, poor. Absolutely poor. So two goals we concede, needlessly conceded, I think. Right, Williams is going to uh, make amends. Sancho might do, but will, oh, maximum almost there. As, uh, they're coming back out as aren't they? It's a great slide tackle by Williams. It's a throw in. Last couple of minutes, four minutes to go. And we will have, uh, I mean, Arsenal are winning 2-1. So Sheffield United did get a goal back. So let's have a look where we are going to finish. We appreciate the efforts. It wasn't brilliant, but 4-2 or the same. Wow, there's an own goal by Leno on the 64 minutes. So Sheffield United did have a shout, but they didn't score themselves. Um, Man City lost 1-0 in the end. So we do steal third spot. Newcastle lie in third spot. We have got Champions League football folks for next season. And uh, I'm assuming that's what we're going to concentrate on. We'll try and get as many games in as we can in the shorter time that we have got. Um, FM21 is not far away. So another season with Newcastle is uh, what we're going to be doing. Uh, we need a couple of more players and that is about it. So let's uh, see what they say. See how much money we get. Uh, we Aston Villa suffer last day they get relegated Aston Villa relegated wow we qualify for the Champions League uh, the budgets for next season uh, the wages 1.8 and the transfer budget of 67 million all right it's a bit less than the 150 we had in the first season but I think we need to make a couple of sales and they'll try and bring a couple of more players in maximum on form well played sir see 34 million for finishing third end of season awards Ruben Neves is fans player of the season not surprisingly Martinez 31% uh, very close and maximum on 16 goal of the season is Ruben Neves against Aston Villa on the 15th of September signing of the season is Ruben Neves and young player of the season Ruben Neves wow clean sweep I don't think I've ever seen that before but a clean sweep, a clean sweep from start 
from top to bottom. Well played, Ruben Neves. Well done. I'm awfully glad we bought him in the end. We won the Carabao Cup and we finished third and we lost in the fourth round. Uh, match of the season was a 2-1 victory over Manchester United at Old Trafford and the moment to forget was the 4-2 loss to uh, Man City. <laughs> Average attendance 50,000, total players used 29 second out of 20. Okay, fine. Three year minimum contracts, finishing the top half, Champions League. Okay, well, I think we're ahead of that so we'll accept the current vision anyway. Squad dynamics, absolutely brilliant. We've got Lachelles and Dubrovka. I think some of them players are going to be going. Shelby, Drummett. Uh, yeah, some of these players will be going. End of season meeting. Let's discuss plans for next season. It's been a long season. You're going to come back fully refreshed because I'm going to qualify for the Champions League again. I think um, realistically we want to qualify for Europe again. So that's what we want to do. A lot of them don't think it's realistic. I think it is. With the players we've got, it's realistic. Martinez is uh, the league's top goal scorer. 30 goals out of 35 appearances. Wow. What I tell you what, that is absolutely phenomenal. I think I don't think we've had that great a uh, start from any uh, of our players through in the whole season from start to finish. He started off slow, but once he got into the swing of things, he was absolutely brilliant. Mane, uh, second day, uh, he only got nine, uh, 20 goals, eh? and Harry Kane, 16 goals. Neves wins Young Player of the season as well. I tell you what, we're sweeping him. Actually, did I congratulate uh, Martinez? No, I didn't. There we go. We'll congratulate him as well. And players named in the team of the year. Martinez. What happened to Neves? <laughs> Sancho. What happened to Maximin? <laughs> Seriously? Wow. Okay. Right. Let's have a look at the squad uh, statistics then. Let's have a look at appearances first. Uh, Sancho. I mean, when these guys came in, the signings that we brought, Sancho, Martinez and Neves, literally top three. Maximin on uh, 38 games. That's through injury. He didn't play very much. Uh, some of our first teamers didn't play an awful lot of games, but uh, we managed to find out wh who they were towards the end. Uh, Hayden's very, very good, though. And, he had, and we might keep him for next season. There's a couple of other players just getting in, and uh, Longstaff just uh, coming in on uh, just a couple of games of sub. Right, goals. This is where we're interested. Martinez, 34 goals. Sancho, 16. Maximum, 15. Neves, 14. It's nice to see our new boys scoring the goals that is amazing linton with five way way back a few other players scoring but yeah it's all relied on martinez if anything happened to him we would have been serious trouble assists maximin and neves uh, sancho getting in on there as well together with manquillo not bad from a r right wing back from manquillo even though he did have a few errors in, in there as well namely the liverpool game uh but yeah uh williams as well ben yeah, getting a few assists all the way down here not too bad Average ratings, uh, it's nice to see. Again, Neves, top. Martinez, Maximin, Regani. Where did Sancho? Sancho got 7.1, but uh, Neves was 7.55. Martinez, 7.35. You know what? I can't grumble. That's uh, very well played, lads. Well played indeed. For next season, we are going to try and get rid of some of the deadwood that we haven't used this season. Can't believe we're in the Champions League. And we finished third as well. What is our uh, balance at the moment? I'm just intrigued. 44 million. We've got 67 million pound transfer budget. We want to bring in some more 90%. If we can sell some more players, try and get that up to 100 and bring in a couple of players, namely a goalkeeper, a centre back, possibly, and maybe another centre midfielder, possibly. We want to go straight through the middle, but mainly we want to concentrate on the back. If we can improve that massively, then we will do. There are a few players I have in mind, but it all depends how much they're going to cost. So, what a great end to a season! We do finish third position. I mean, I don't think I expected that high up. To be perfectly honest, we've had a, uh, the new signs have had a massive impact. Martinez, Sancho, and Maximin all on the goal scoring uh, charts. Martinez with a 10 goals advantage over Mane. Sanchez finishing third. Maximin finishing fifth. Average ratings, we've got three plays in there as well. Assess, yellow cards, nothing in the clean sheets. Um, play of the matches, Ruben Evans with six. And Martinez with five, which is quite outstanding, really, considering how many hat-tricks he's, he's had. Watford, Aston Villa and Sheffield United all go down. And who goes down in... Uh, who comes up? Brentford and Fulham in the final. Uh, Leeds and West Brom come up. We're going to leave it there then, folks. 
Uh, that's season one finished with. We're going to try and get season two done, especially in the Champions League. We just want to try and win the league next season, but we've got a massive cap to bridge. I mean, there's 29 points in here. That is just huge. Really huge. We came, co we came close against Liverpool twice. So if we can get to second spot, I'll be really, really happy. But if we can emulate what we've done this season, just as good. Right, if you enjoyed that, please pop a like on there. If you'd like to see more on YouTube channel, please subscribe. And until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you.